This is a BioBarrier 0.5 installed at the Big Basin Marina in Shanahan, Illinois by Zyder Septics Unlimited. And I'd like to show everyone uh, some of the procedures that we use uh, in order to keep quality control um, at a very high level. Uh, first off, the electrical control panel, we use all PVC conduit and the float switches being, this is the uh, on off float and this is the high level alarm, uh, being 24 volt DC are in a separate conduit from the uh, any AC power. Uh, AC power, actually we have in separate conduits because it's easier and actually costs less than having a junction box in the uh, riser where space is a premium. Well first off, we have uh, a specially designed approved tank that's vacuum tested to make sure that there are no uh, leaks and we have two approved concrete suppliers. One is Weezer Concrete in Maiden Rock, Wisconsin. The other one is uh, Grove Concrete in Union Grove, Wisconsin. And they have the uh, tanks with a thousand gallon settling tank followed by a 1500 gallon biobarrier tank. Uh, we have, this is a Weezer tank and uh, it, this has two 24 inch openings in the septic area and, and a 24 and a 30 inch opening in the biobarrier area. Uh, the bio barrier has to have two, uh, it has to have a sanity screen with a 16th inch slot to keep any foreign objects from the filter side. And in this case, the venting is done through the building up, and up to the roof vent. So we have venting internal to the tank. As you can see here, we have the four inch vent coming up within an inch of the top of the riser well above the top of the tank and the sanity at the flow line. So air will, uh, that's pumped into the uh, biobarrier chamber will vent through this and then back through the vent up through the roof, up to the roof stack. Um, we install these to a, to a degree of, of um, uh, more than what a septic would be, really what process piping would be, because this is a permanent solution uh, for wastewater disposal. If we look in the area where the bio barrier is, we can see that we have three separate conduits, one for each float and one for the bio barrier pump, which you can see below the water. And um, connections outside the tank. Now that saves on real estate inside the tank, and it also um, means that no gases can get back up into the control panel. The uh, wire size for the floats and for the biobarrier pump are 16 TFFN or THHN stranded wire. The wire for the blower, in this case, is number 14. THHN or TFFN. Um, in order to be able to pull this out, we have Biomicrobics uh, containment system, which is uh, a uh, unistrut cutout. And we have the union for the air in a horizontal position, not vertical. The, uh, the pump and the clean in place line have to be kept solid and so it doesn't move around and so we attach it to the same bar as the uh, as the hold down uh, pipes. Also at the bottom uh, we have a, you can't see it but there's a cord grip. Uh, the float tree is also in this and you can see this is in short or long term rest right now. Uh, we, we did seed this with the activated sludge, although it looks pretty clear, it's, it's been seeded already. The uh, disposal area, you'll notice that the pipe coming up from the bio barrier comes up <coughs> in a straight line 
and it allows air that would be trapped in the biobarrier to escape by gravity. Otherwise, the pump can airlock. Um, we put the blower as close to the unit as possible. It can be next to the next to the control panel, but uh, it's always better to put it as close as possible. Anyway, because no matter which one of our dealers installs a system, we have these specific requirements to ensure that uh, there won't be any trouble in the future and the system will provide many, many years of trouble-free service. Thank you.